to kick off tonight's tribute, a recording of him reading from his late poem, Report. I gathered books of poets from various countries. Now I sit reading them and am astonished. It is sweet to think that I was a companion in an expedition that never ceases, though centuries pass away. An expedition not in search of the golden fleece of a perfect form, but as necessary as love. Under the compulsion of the desire for the essence of the oak, of the mountain peak, of the wasp, and of the flower of Nasturtium, so that they last and confirm our hymnic song against death. And our tender thought about all who lived, strived, and never succeeded in naming. For to exist on the earth is beyond any power to name. Fraternally, we help each other, forgetting our grievances, translating each other into other tongues, members, indeed, of a wandering crew. How then could I not be grateful if early I was called and the incomprehensible contradiction has not diminished my wonder? At every sunrise, I renounce the doubts of night and greet the new day of a most precious delusion. Good evening. Uh, my name starts with a Z, so I have the privilege of having the last word. <laughs> Although everything has been already said. Um, there are two ways of approaching poetry. One is systematic and the other one is chaotic. And I think the chaotic one is much better. Um, especially in the case of Czesław Miros, because he, not that he was chaotic, but he, um, he was contradictory. It's very hard to grasp this contradiction, contradictions uh, without being chaotic. Uh, but I'll start with reading a poem. Actually, this is a poem which has an epigraph from Bob Haas. Um, Yellow Bicycle is the title of the poem. And I read it in both languages. Yellow Bicycle. When I ask her what she wants, she says, a yellow bicycle, Robert Haas. As long as we move as a, at a dancing gate, my love, leaving the car by the place where a yellow bicycle stands leaning against a tree. As long as we enter the gardens at a dancing gate, northern gardens full of dew and the voices of birds, our memory is childish and it saves only what we need. Yesterday morning and evening, no further. But then we recalled a girl who had a yellow bicycle like that and used to talk to it in caressing words. Later on, among flower beds between box hedges, we saw a little statue and a plate with the sculptor's name. We were descending by terraces toward a lake which is like a lake from an old ballad, smooth between the peninsulas of spruce forests. Thus, common human memory visited us again. <clears throat> this is my strength tonight that I can well read it in Polish. Żółty rower. Dopóki posuwamy się tanecznym krokiem, moja miła, zostawiając auto niedaleko miejsca, gdzie oparty o drzewo stoi żółty rower, dopóki tanecznym krokiem wchodzimy w bramę ogrodów, północnych ogrodów, pełnych rosy i ptasiego śpiewu, nasza pamięć jest dziecinna i zachowuje, ile nam potrzeba. 
wczorajszy ranek i wieczór, nie dalej. Ale przypomniała się nam dziewczyna, która miała taki sam żółty rower i mówiła do niego pieszczotliwymi słowami. A tam, gdzie kwietne rabaty między szpalerem z bukszpanu, widzieliśmy posążek i tabliczkę z nazwiskiem rzeźbiarza. Stępowaliśmy po terasach ku jezioru, które jest jak jezioro ze znajomej ballady, gładkie, między półwyspami świerkowych lasów i tak nam wspólna ludzka pamięć powróciła. Um, these contradictions in Miłosz, there are so many. Um, there's this famous formula which we know from one of Keats's letters, the negative capability. Miłosz was not someone who would be interested in the negative capability. He was, his was a very strong mind that needed strong meanings. His mind was hungry for meaning. He also believed in times in secret knowledge and craved initiation and looked for gurus. In his, when we read his essays, but also his poems, there are at least two these important gurus. One is Oscar Milos, his, his cousin, who was a French poet. And another one is, is Tiger from Native Realm, a philosopher, a little strange philosopher. Um, so that's the opposite of the negative capability. He wants to know, he wants to, to get to the secret of the world. And yet there, there were moments in his writing <clears throat> when he was longing for something else, for innocence and ignorance. And some of his best poems seem to grow out of this longing. There's one of these poems which I like very much. It's called um, Mittelbergheim, or maybe we, in French, because this is a name, a name of a village in France. So we, we should say Mittelbergen, probably. It's in Alsace. Um, it's a poem written in 51. Um, in a, this was a very tormented year for me, was when he defected, and he was not quite sure whether this was a good decision. He thought his his uh, life as a poet, as a as a writer, was over. He didn't believe he could write as an emigre. And this is a poem, but I better read it. Uh, it's much better. Uh, Mittelbergheim. Wine sleeps in casks of Rhine oak. I'm wakened by the bell of a chapel in the vineyards of Mittelbergheim. I hear a small spring trickling into a well in the yard, a clatter of sabots in the street. Tobacco drying under the eaves and plows and wooden wheels and mountain slopes and autumn are with me. I keep my eyes closed. Do not rush me, you fire, power, might, for it is too early. I had lived through many years, and as in this half dream, I felt I was attaining the moving frontier beyond which color and sound come true and the things of this earth are united. Do not yet force me to open my lips. Let me trust and believe I will attain. Let me linger here in Mittelbergheim. I know I should. They are with me, autumn and wooden wheels and tobacco hung under the eaves. Here and everywhere is my homeland, wherever I turn and in whatever language I would hear the song of a child, the conversation of lovers. Happier than anyone, I am to receive a glance, a smile, a star, silk creased at the knee. 
serene, beholding. I am to walk on hills in the soft glow of day over waters, cities, roads, human customs. Fire, power, might, you who hold me in the palm of your hand, whose furrows are like immense gorges, calmed by southern wind. You who grant certainty in the hour of fear, in the week of doubt, it is too early. Let the wine mature. Let the travelers sleep in Mittelbergheim.